more sees it, the spectacular stunts are only part of the reason for the series' popularity. They have always spent more and more money on making them. They don't cheat the audience. The audience goes knowing they're guaranteed to have a good time. We hope. And you've done so many of them now, in, in all due respects. I mean, you're in your 50s. How do you keep up with the rigors of the role? Well, you see, I've got these wonderful braces that hold me upright. <laughs> <laughs> Locations took the globe-trotting Bond troupe from the French countryside to the top of the Golden Gate Bridge. They're tough shoots. Oh, yeah. Six months. Do you think you're uh, overpaid? Underpaid? Uh... If you ask me honestly, am I overpaid for the job that I do? Yes, I am overpaid. I think most of us working, lucky, successful actors are overpaid. But if that's what the market is paying, and a lot of other people in the industry are making money out of it, and by that I mean producers and distribution companies, then why shouldn't actors have a slice of that pie? We are overpaid if in terms of the job we do. We're not doing something really useful like a doctor. Life is good, though, for you. It's very good. I'd be an awful ingrate if I, if, if, uh, if I were, were to say it wasn't. I'm very lucky, extraordinarily lucky. The role has suited him well, though he won't say whether A View to a Kill will be his swan song as 007. He does admit, finally, that Bond, James Bond, is his favorite role. If you weren't an actor, what would you want to do? I would love to be able to sing. I really would. I'd love to be a singer. Uh, always have that vision, you know, of opening, being in the bathroom, and you open your voice, and out comes Mario Lanza. It'd be wonderful. Great in the show. But shower. I don't think I would be very good as Bond, being Mario Lanza. Uh, my name is a Bond. Uh, the Chem is a Bond. <laughs> 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 <laughs>